volunteers to join the so-called thumb drive core and download docs from the public access libraries, upload them to the Pacer recycling site. People take a thumb drive into one of these libraries and they download a bunch of documents and they send them to me. And nothing, I mean, it was just a joke. Um, in fact, when you clicked on Thumb Drive Core, there was a Wizard of Oz, Oz you know, the Munchkin singing, um, so a little video clip came up. We represent the lollipop, yeah. But of course, I get this phone call from Steve Schultz and, and Aaron saying, gee, well, we'd like to join the Thumb Drive Core. Around that time, I ran into Aaron at a conference. This is something that really has to be a collaboration between a lot of different people. So I approached him and I said, hey, I'm thinking about an intervention on the pacer problem. Schultz had already developed a program that could automatically download pacer documents from the trial libraries. Swartz wanted to take a look. So I showed him the code. And I didn't know what would come next. But as it turns out, over the course of the next few hours at that conference, he was off sitting in a corner, improving my code, recruiting a friend of his that lived near one of these libraries to go into the library and to begin to test his improved code, at which point the folks at the courts realized something's not going quite according to plan. And data started to come in and come in and come in, and soon there were 760 gigabytes of Pacer docs, about 20 million pages. Using information retrieved from the trial libraries, Schwartz was conducting massive, automated, parallel downloading of the Pacer system. He was able to acquire nearly 2.7 million federal court documents, almost 20 million pages of text. Now, I'll grant you that 20 million pages had perhaps exceeded the expectations of the people running the pilot access project.